All right, guys, here we go. It's Show and Tell Cuts Barbershop in Raleigh, Texas. I'm the owner. I've been cutting with a uh, barber license in the barbershop for the past 20 years. I've seen a lot of things. I, uh, th it's my first time seeing this one. I've seen a, a, a dispute between one of my barbers and a, and a client. So I decided to go over there and uh, kind of resolve because I've seen it right about to uh, get out of hand. I've seen my barber position himself uh, to basically assault the uh, person in his chair. I noticed it. I don't know if the person in the chair noticed that that's what was about to happen. So I went over to defuse the situation. So come to find out, the customer's complaining about the price of the cut. But ultimately, uh, he really just didn't want to pay for a haircut. He had it all planned out from the beginning. So I just told my, my barber, don't worry about it, man. I'll pay him. Just let the man out. But actually, the guy claimed he, he would pay the $20. He, barber was charging him $25. And I told my barber, hey, let's let him, let him know. I, I paid the other $5. You know, he kept saying, oh, this guy was on the phone the whole time. And it seemed, seemed like he didn't know what he's doing on, on my hair. He's saying like he's feeling around my hair like he don't know what he's doing. He's on the phone the whole time. He's making excuses not to pay. And I told him, this is a veteran barber. He's been here 11 years, and he, he know how to put out a fire fade. So then you see he gets up. He goes over to the mirror. And he's, he's looking for excuses not to pay. And we're all standing there watching, and we're skeptical about the guy. When he first came in and sat down by the door, he put his backpack by the door. So I told him, hey, man. You know, just give me 20, don't worry about the rest. He's looking at it, he's trying to think of more reasons to make excuses. But by this time, my barber, uh, Freddie, he's over it. You know, he, he want to fight. He, he's over the money. He, he just want to beat this guy up. Look, look, watch, wait for it, guys. He's picking up his backpack, and he ran. He, he told me he was about to get the money. So I, I'm thinking, okay, he's going to get the money out the backpack. It's something back in my mind said, this guy I to run out. Man, I, when I went outside, I seen him running away across the parking lot. He was looking back at us running. <laughs> and, and later, I talked to the guys about in the barbershop. They say the guy had on house shoes. So he's running fast as hell to have on some house shoes. And, you know, and Freddie, the barber, he said he could have called him if he wanted to. But he was pissed off, man. I said, man, I couldn't let you beat that guy up in the barbershop because that wasn't, that wasn't going to work out well. That wouldn't have went well, you know, outside those doors. That It, it wouldn't have sounded right. It wouldn't look right. And he could have went in another way. Thanks for watching.